Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're all doing fine. So let's dive straight into the content, my friends, because Bitcoin currently is breaking out out of this rising wedge that we have discussed yesterday. We had this bearish divergence. We had higher highs in the four hour time frame, but we had lower highs in the RSI. So this bearish divergence currently is playing out. And I'm afraid to tell you, my friends, that I think that the target could be even here down at around 50K. So even though we could still get some breeders and maybe here another attempt to go and test this uh, 57K area, I think that the potential target is here, this 50K area. And here in the four hour time frame, we have currently also potentially flashing a buy signal very soon. But the problem is that the RSI now is uh, below the 50 level and also money flow is still a negative. So even though we could get here short term, a little breather, to the upside be careful if you're already here taking a long position if you're trading with my own indicator because we are potentially looking down towards 50k here for this move we are also below all the important moving averages and also we have the ema ribbons now above of us so even though we could get here a retest of this fifty-seven thousand dollars area i still remain a bit bearish here that we could fall down again towards 50k before maybe we create a potential potential double bottom formation in the bigger time frames and then head higher towards new all time highs. So if this rising wedge is going to play out, then I think in the next coming hours and days, we're going to see some more pushes to the downside here together with some uh, bounces to the upside. But at the end, in my opinion, we are about to come down to potentially test again this 50 K area right at the bottom of this uh, rising wedge, which also is the potential target of this uh, bearish pattern. So here on the Bitcoin price chart, we are looking again way more bearish than yesterday, at least here in the shorter time frames. And if we go over into the daily time frame, you can see that also here right now we are struggling to go back above the EMA ribbons again. So yesterday we had a nice close above the 20 daily moving average. We had a big dip down towards the 100 daily moving average here at $53,000. We came straight back up and we successfully closed above the 20 daily moving average, which of course is for now a good sign. But there are still some big warning signs here because if we are getting a confirmation that right now the EMA ribbons and especially here the nine daily moving average at $57,000 is a new resistance, we should look for way lower targets than here this, this 53 k area and in my own indicator you can see that we have right now a confirmed sell signal the rsi is right at the 50 level and money flow is turning into negative so that means that in the next coming days we potentially going to see here continuation to the downside until we're getting another nice buy signal similar like we had over here at forty eight thousand dollars so until here we are getting another buy signal i remain a bit more bearish and i think we could see here a potential play out of this rising wedge down to the 50k area and if here we're gonna get the buy signal and if here we are seeing a nice bounce then i think we should be good to go long again and of course also go all in, in into bitcoin because if here we're gonna create a potential double bottom formation and then head higher towards new all-time highs because don't forget i still remain very bullish for bitcoin at least for the mid to long term and any kind of dip below 50k we should be buying as much as we can my friends because we're still far away from a cycle top and i still remain very bullish here for the bitcoin price because the bigger time frames are still looking extremely bullish and any kind of bigger correction we should take it as a gift and as a good buy chance because we're still far away from a potential cycle top for this bull run so here for the short term i think that we could see continuation to the downside unless of course we are able again to go back into this rising wedge and start to close again four hour and daily candles above fifty seven thousand dollars but if today we're going to close below fifty seven thousand dollars in my opinion we will see the play out of this rising wedge and the target would be down here at around 49 to 50k where maybe then we're going to see another consolidation phase and then head again higher only if 50k would be broken if we're gonna go below 
then keep in mind that we could even reach here the nine monthly moving average since here in the monthly time frame we got a sell signal and usually that means that we are coming down to test at least a nine monthly moving average here thirty seven thousand dollars and in the worst case scenario we could even fall down towards a 20 monthly moving average at twenty two thousand dollars which in my opinion it's not very likely so if we would lose the 50k area i think a realistic target would be here at around 40k before maybe then we're gonna bottom out so i just want that you have those price targets here in your radar in case that we would lose the 50k area but we should have enough support at 50k because we also have right now the 20 weekly moving average right here at forty nine thousand dollars so usually bitcoin never comes below this important moving average during a bull run and that's why i'm expecting here to have a big bounce to the upside and create this double bottom formation in the daily time frame but just that you have that in your radar if the 20 weekly moving average will not hold if forty nine thousand dollars will not hold then watch out for thirty seven thousand dollars that could be the ultimate bottom here the nine monthly moving average in case that we would somehow see a big fall below this important price level so currently i am still not in a trade we could get here a nice breather to the upside towards fifty seven thousand dollars but i definitely not gonna take this trade because in my opinion we are about to head lower at least based on the daily time frame and here in the lower time frames it looks like that we could see a nice retest here of fifty seven thousand dollars but i definitely gonna wait until we're getting another buy signal in the daily time frame because then i think we should be good to go higher and potentially the correction then is over and we are heading again towards new all-time highs because don't forget that so far we're still getting rejected by the keltner channels here the top of the keltner channel as you can see is still resistance and if we would fall below fifty three thousand dollars then in my opinion we will see for sure forty nine thousand dollars right at the bottom of the bollinger bands and if this one will not hold if we're going to start to close daily candles below forty nine thousand dollars then be prepared to see the worst case scenario down to thirty seven thousand dollars it's not very likely because i still think that here latest at 49k we will see a big bounce to the upside but i just want to show you what could happen in the worst case scenario that forty nine thousand dollars will not hold i still remain very bullish for bitcoin and that's why if somehow we're gonna fall again towards 49k take it as a good buy opportunity but if we would see the worst case scenario that we could fall down towards thirty-seven thousand dollars, then this would be the ultimate best buy opportunity here for this bull run and i don't think that we will ever go lower than that again so be prepared that for bitcoin we could see now in the next coming days and hours continuation to the downside of course with some bounces to the upside but overall i still think that as long as we are not able again to close four hour candles and daily candles above these potential new resistance here at fifty seven thousand dollars that we are potentially heading lower towards the target here of this rising wedge that is currently at around 49 to 50k and now let's go over to ethereum because ethereum is still looking extremely bullish way more bullish than the bitcoin here there are still no signs that we could have here a bigger correction incoming even though of course uh, bitcoin is currently in danger and that of course could also take down ethereum but based on the charts here on ethereum we are still heading towards new all-time highs and the potential next target here of around four thousand six hundred fifty dollars in my opinion is still in play and we could see ethereum reaching this four thousand six hundred fifty dollars level pretty soon in my opinion the four hour time frame is looking like that we could get soon a buy signal and the rsi here is bouncing off from the 50 level so way better than over on a bitcoin and also with this uh, dip that we had uh, yesterday we just came down to the bottom of this uh, rising wedge that we had previously but then immediately we came back up and confirmed these previous resistance now again as a new support so ethereum is looking like that we are heading higher here and even if we go over into the daily time frame you can see that with this uh, dip that we had yesterday we didn't even touch here the nine daily moving average here at three thousand six hundred dollars so also here ethereum is still looking extremely bullish we didn't even came down to the 20 daily moving average at three thousand dollars we just came very close to the nine daily and immediately this was bought back up very very quickly and that's why ethereum in my opinion still have the chance here to push higher create new all-time highs and reach this potential next bigger resistance here of four thousand six hundred fifty dollars so we have two completely different charts here for bitcoin and ethereum on bitcoin 
Bitcoin, I'm expecting a potential continuation to the downside towards 50k. But here on Ethereum, it's exactly the opposite. Here we're still looking extremely bullish and we should expect here also new all time highs incoming. And once we are reaching here, this next target of $4,650, then we're going to see if Ethereum is able to push higher and have big explosive moves to the upside once this last potential resistance here is broken or if here we are getting rejected and this resistance trend line from these previous highs here is still in play and here we could roll over and come back down we would maybe come down to test the 20 daily moving average or even the bottom of the EMA ribbons which currently are down here at around $2,700 that could be also a bearish scenario for Ethereum once we are reaching this $4,600 $50 but until then I'm pretty sure that we're gonna reach this target and we're gonna see here all the continuation to the upside unless of course uh, Bitcoin is taking a big dump towards uh, 50k then of course this could also take down a bit Ethereum but overall Ethereum is still looking extremely bullish here and if Bitcoin is just going sideways or maybe have some pushes towards 57k we could see Ethereum easily reach our target here of 4650 dollars and another bullish thing that makes me believe that ethereum could also easily reach here this target and maybe bitcoin could also recover faster than expected is because of the dxy currently the dxy is still falling off the cliffs yesterday we confirmed this new resistance here at 90 dollars and it looks like that we are heading here clearly down towards 89 dollars and if here we are not seeing a bounce to the upside then in my opinion the dxy is in free fall and that of course is very much in favor for the crypto and stock market the only thing that is a bit concerning right now is that the dxy is falling but the stock markets are also falling here on nasdaq you can see that yesterday we closed right at the 50 daily moving average and here we are back in a downtrend so we failed to recover back into this ascending triangle and see continuation to the upside towards new all-time highs so right now we are even below the 100 daily moving average and if here we are not able to close daily candles above the 100 daily moving average so above thirteen thousand two hundred dollars the likelihood that here we could see a free fall down towards the 200 daily moving average at twelve thousand five hundred dollars in my opinion is very likely because currently you can see that the rsi is below the 50 level we have negative money flow and we are trading below all the important moving averages here in the daily time frame so nasdaq is looking a bit bearish and that considering that the dxy is also falling is a bit concerning and that's why we could see the same thing also for bitcoin that even though the dxy is falling we first gonna see continuation to the downside to potentially retest important supports levels like the 50k area before we definitely are heading higher again towards new all-time highs and the same thing goes also here for nasdaq if here we're gonna lose this important support at the 100 daily moving average which previously also acted as a strong support in my opinion we could go easily down towards the 200 daily moving average here at twelve thousand five hundred dollars and that could also take down maybe the bitcoin price so it's very weird to see that right now the stock market is falling even though the dxy is also falling and it's even losing important support levels but one thing is for sure if the dxy is not able to recover here and go back into an uptrend and continue to fall sooner or later we're gonna see big explosive moves in the stock market and of course in the crypto market so that's why if we are getting here a nice little retest of this 50k and create here a potential double bottom formation take it as a very good buy opportunity and i think latest here once we are testing this 50k again we're gonna get another buy signal here in the daily time frame and then we should be good to go long again and go all in into bitcoin because i really think that this 50k consolidation area in which we are right now could be the last opportunity to buy cheap bitcoin before we are starting to go completely parabolic towards the stratosphere so with that said guys we're gonna wrap it up for now if you like the content make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel i do daily ta videos and a big shout out goes over to bitsgap this is an all-in-one trading platform where you can connect all your exchanges to one place and you can run trading bots on your exchanges so as you can see they are very profitable i have them running now for almost a month and so far it's totally paying out 
So if you want to try it out, then make sure to sign up with the link that you find down below here in the video description for Bitscap because they're offering to our community the pro plan for 14 days completely for free. And after 14 days, if you're making some gains, you can upgrade to a monthly plan, which is starting for only $19 a month. So you should get this money very, very easily, quickly back. And next to that, check out also all my referral links, for example, to Bybit or Femex, where you can trade your own with leverage. If you use my registration links, then you will get some extra money, some extra bonus. And of course, also join our Discord trading chat. Down below here, you find also the invitation link to our community over on Discord. Once you have clicked on that, you go here to read first and click on this thumbs up button to confirm that you're a human and not a bot. Then you have free access to the trading chat. And this is the place where you can get also access to my own indicator, which is giving you buy and sell signals for Bitcoin. A small donation is needed, so you have to contact me here straight on Discord. Otherwise, just get directly here a YouTube membership. Then you also have free access to the live stream indicator. So thank you again very much for watching, my friends, and we're going to see us all in the next one. Bye.